Got everything? Yep. What's happening now? <laughs> chilly, chilly, chilly. Yo, it's about that time, man. What time? Time for uh, out of town and tourists to come and invade our beaches. Oh, um, yeah, spring break. Oh, God. When, for, these, when these, these little nigglets come. For real, like, first off, let me not sound like the old fogey. We enjoyed spring break before. I'm gonna sound like the old fogey. Oh. I never liked South Beach spring break. I mean, no, South Beach spring break is strictly for people that that don't live here or have never been to South Beach. Where we've, I've, I'm surprised. Like people who live here, like go. I'm like, yo, why? <laughs> oh, because they're trying. They're still trying to like find something. Like, <laughs> like they're still trying to find their youth. They just. <laughs> I guess. Counting for pussy, you know what I'm saying? Word. They, they want to go out there and show off their cars, their fits, their jewelry, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know, man. It's just it's just like everything. Like, as the years go on, it just gets worse and worse. Like, Word. every year. Like, I remember last year, there was this video of this girl, like, twerking. And this dude was recording himself. And she was in it. And he slapped her ass. Mm-hmm. And it started circulating on Twitter. And she ended up breaking up with her boyfriend because of it. Because he saw it. It was like, oh, that's what you go to Miami and do. And I, you know what I'm saying? Wow. It's, it just and and another but, thing is, but then, but to get given to the the dude's point, that is what she went to Miami to do. I, I ain't gonna lie. One time I saw a video. It was spring break too. Uh-huh. The video starts with the girl completely naked. It's like one of those clubs, you know, on the strip that you walk with mm. the restaurants. Uh huh. She started clearing the whole fucking table off. All the niggas are screaming. Phones is out. Then somebody started to spray ketchup and mustard on her, and she was just twerking <laughs> naked. Bro, oh, naked. she had to be gone. She was on some she, Molly she and Hennessy like or something. That was the thing. She was like, come or she on, was come craving on. Like for she, attention, yeah. which wow. is worse than sad. any drug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ketchup, mustard, everything, Word. butt naked on South Beach. That's dog. Uh, have some, have dog. some. Twenty some years, my daughter that talking video. about she gonna. Sp- Miami for spring break? I think not. I, Never. I'll take your brother with you. Imagine, <laughs> imagine in ten years when she see that video. Oh my Bro. god! Oh my god! They they need to like make a compilation of these videos and show the people like this is what you shouldn't do. Word. This is what you can't get into. You fuck around. Word. And Come the, to Miami. And the word, word that that's what we bring up like is giving a bad name to Miami. People think this is like this. Well, technically, it's kind of city of sin. They did yeah. a poll. They said we're the most sinful city. In America, but Word. just because your girl come down here cheat on you, that's not Miami's fault. Your girl is who she was before she got here, bro. People, I feel I like hate to break it to you. I feel like the most trash people are on South Beach right now. I don't, I just feel that way like in my spirit. <laughs> you might, but you know some of them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> All right, there are there are some there is some trash on South Beach. I'm not talking about on the shore either. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's oh, and then the video you just watched, this girl getting knocked out. Right. And, uh, and Apparently, the, the story behind the video is first of all, anytime someone is in closing a circle, that's always something bad. Is either a fight, mm. so, somebody's gonna get hurt. That's never good. Right. So the video starts her and her friend like walking, like, like walking through the crowd, and I guess someone touched her ass, mm. and she went and slapped the wrong dude, mm-hmm. and then that dude turned around and just clocked her. First of and knocked all, her out. and when she fell on the floor, she looked dazed. Like, yeah. you know, somebody get knocked out and do that. Yeah. And like, she's sitting there in a daze, and what happens? People, oh, everybody putting the phones on, and nobody's helping her up. Like, I understand, like, somebody get knocked out, you don't help them out immediately because, like, it can, like, rattle them. Mm. That's like a, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not a nurse or a doctor or whatever. Word, but word. from what I hear, it say if you, like, pick them up quick or mm. something, it can, like, mess them up. Mm. But, like, First of all, the nigga pussy you punched it. Mm-hmm. I understand. I, I'm a firm believer in keeping hands to yourself, but you didn't have to turn around and hit her with a haymaker, dog. Bro, like, the, you could have pushed her. You could have like, you could have hit me. You could have walked away. Yeah, you could have ate that punch. You like, if you think you real bro. enough to hit her, you real enough to just eat that. Eat that slap. It wasn't even bro, punches or slaps. Bro, like, bro, bro that, like, that extra strength, strength God gave you is supposed to be used responsibly to protect the black Straight woman, up, not yeah, to so, hurt the black. Woman. Exactly, dog. You fucking pussy. Niggas is pussy, man. And then people recorded her like, oh. Word. Like nobody helped. Like this is sickening. Word. But and to Flocka's point, why didn't any of the men around do anything? I think that's the that's, more important. No, no, that's, I, I'm including them. In all everyone. the men around felt the way that we are in this conversation. Conversation. Mm-hmm. It would play to more or less like defending her. Obviously, no matter what she did, mm-hmm. no man deserved to put his hand on her like that. That's you know what I'm what saying. I mean? yeah. But if like, every man around was angry and got on him. 
they could kill him in that moment. Yeah. But you don't have to. Could've you just have to restrain him. Bad. Yeah. You know, and it should take like three or four dudes, but honestly, a lot of guys just sit back and they like, yeah, fuck, no, she probably deserved that shit. And yeah, like she probably deserved it. She ain't my girl. Yeah. I didn't hit her. You know no, what I'm saying? I like making it, these excuses because remember, if it was your sister or your daughter or your word, mom word. or your cousin, you see the point I'm getting yeah. at. You would want somebody to help them. Word, you gotta bro. have that Ice Cube moment when he was like, "Yo, Devo, man." She a girl. You gotta, yeah, you gotta run up female. on that nigga. Word, word. Female like that. Word, I, uh, all all that he situation said, needed was down. was one brave soul with with some kind of some kind of something word. about him, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like golly, yeah. these new niggas are just trash. They different, dog. And they and they, <laughs> they, they these niggas. Boy, and, and what's claim- crazy? <laughs> and what's crazy is that women are coming from South Beach talking about niggas are trash. I was like, you went to South Beach during spring break. During spring break, where those niggas are trash. Where where forty percent, <laughs> where literally forty percent of America's trash goes to vacation, dog. Mm-hmm. Think you about it. Think about it, dog. Honor. Like only trash niggas go. <laughs> like only niggas who who come here are like niggas. Like all right, the, we we here. You know exactly why they uh-huh. did. Absolutely. And then um you got the yeah, funny don't expect st- gentlemen on South Beach. Nah. I'm I'm sure they're there, yeah, and, uh, but they're not the majority. Yeah, no, nah, expect <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, ex- expect the the <laughs> the niggas in fraternities buying your ass. For yeah, real, lifting the, you up. Where, the drunk, the they drunk lift New up York. somebody grandma, you saw that? <laughs> the the drunk New York niggas. <laughs> For real, wearing that, they Tim's on the beach. Where, <laughs> just, <laughs> wearing Tim's on the just beach. yelling, we in Miami, son. That's that's New I'm York. I'm from Brooklyn. Don't forget that. That's New York niggas' <laughs> you favorite thing the when, fuck they, out. when they get down here. We in Miami, son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they oh, talk yeah. about where they are and where they're from. Where? Now, on niggas the, who got weather problems. <laughs> where? Yeah, they, niggas be out there with Tim's, basketball shorts. In a long sleeve shirt, like make up your mind. Like, what is going on? Here? And you could guesstimate a nigga age by his uh, if he if he's still wearing like a do rag or something. You kind of be like that nigga's in his mid thirties. <laughs> you know, no, it's crazy. Do, like do rags are like a thing now. Like I, I remember if you yeah, walk out, if you, mm-hmm. yeah, if you used to walk out of the house with a do rag, you were a, a hood well, booger. <laughs> but not think anymore. about this: how many people have gone through the high top wigs phase? Have dreads now, you know, like every phase is gonna run its time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. My like, nephew remember, got the little me, high top dread thing. Yeah. Remember when everybody was getting uh, designs in the back of their head for like two years? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, recently I NBA <laughs> players are the ones I see doing it first. Like Paul George, he went back to the Caesar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. niggas get. Tired remember when the shit. Mohawks but, were there? Like, or imagine you playing a game. And you running down court, you like, God damn, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga got the same haircut. Yeah, as me. yeah, they all. I, I think called a blowout, right? Where they got yeah. the nappy fro, but it's uh, formed at uh, the same time. Oh and yeah, got a tape. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think it's called a blowout. That, yeah, not, it's yeah. A blowout. When they use that did sponge you, thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait. Did you see that video with Godfrey, the comedian? Yes, that's what I was thinking about. With oh. the uh, the white kids with the do rag. Waves spinning. Like, like, like. He was being condescending at the same time. He's like, "Look at this. Look, look at white America." You know, right. what I'm saying? like this wow. is hilarious. Right. And like, there's like, "Oh, let me see your waves." Oh, Cracker took off his do rag and you know, just had hair. He just had hair. You know hey, but his homeboys was hyping him up. No, it of course like, your homeboys gonna waves, hype waves, you up. Waves. But that's just that's just more proof that they always look to us for everything, especially when everything. it comes to style and fashion and all that. Mm. Music, you already know how music, dancing. They always look into the to the black culture. Talk True. about a culture vulture. For real. Oh, bro. are you gonna to bring up yes, Jules? No, but I did hear something <laughs> about her recently. All right. Especially with her doing that freestyle. And she was oh like, my God, talking this... about how niggas love her ass and all this. So you know who Yes Jules is, right? Is that is that another um She's an influencer. But she one thing I do give her credit for is like she kind of started like way back when. Mm-hmm. When like it was booming in Miami. She was one of the first ones to do it, but she's not she's most popular because she's an Italian girl and she's you know, she's thick. Mm-hmm. She got some hips, she got nice ass, legs, and whatever, but they say she looked like logic in the face. Like she got like a butt That's chin. Cool. And she like she got she got a real structured face or whatever. So uh, you never seen her? <laughs> there was this shirt Flopping? she posted. You never seen it? We'll look up. There was this um there was a, it was a whole lot of shit with it. There was a shirt she posted mm-hmm. where it said niggas um niggas always lie or niggas lie or something. And remember, she's she's not black. Mm-hmm. She's Italian. I think she, she's white or Italian or both. And that she posted and said, Oh, can I wear this? Or 
I'm gonna wear this or something, and people lit her up. Mm. Like you not black, stop saying niggas not cool. Right. And then another thing came out where she had a freestyle. First of all, it's terrible. <laughs> Second of all, she was talking about how her ass is fat and black guys like her. And anytime she come in the room, she get all the take all the take away all the attention from black women and da da da. Lit her ass up again. And then a sex tape came out of her. Okay. With some, it wasn't even celebrity because there's rumors that she fucked. To get where she is, mm -hmm. talk about she fucked Pusha T, she fucked LeBron, she fucked Wade when LeBron was here. But that's all rumors. Mm -hmm. You know, I think LeBron is a very wholesome man. He's a, no, no, her body is nice. Her mm -hmm. body's banging, but you know, niggas don't really uh -huh. like her face. That she kind of look like Logic in the face. Yeah, <laughs> but all right, here's my thing. Well, hold on, hold on, I'm not done. Oh, okay. And after the sex tape. <laughs> Lit her up again, mm. and sidebar, somebody made a track out of her moans because she had some weird-ass moans. It, it sounded like she was getting stabbed more than she was getting fucked. And, like, somebody made a, a, like Was a, this nigga a, Jamaican? I don't know who he was. And yeah, then the final in. straw, the final straw, she, I guess she has a podcast now or whatever. She was in a room where it was her. Why is she still famous? Be, I'm telling you, it was her, black. some white dude, some black dude, and Murder Mook. You know who Murder Mook is? He's one of the most famous battle rappers ever. And he's one of the most hated too. Because he's fake and he writes his lyrics. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And there were he was um she was interviewing him and the other guy or whatever. And first of all, he was cooning, laughing at everything and shit, like, oh, you know, laugh, do the, you know mm -hmm. that I'm trying to get some pussy laugh. Yeah. You know, where <laughs> everything they say is just wrong. And the other two dudes just sit there like, you know, this regular. Word. And she was talking about how Black women hate on her and how people say she can't say nigga. This coon talk about, oh, I'll let you say nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just and that statement she tells you he about that ass. For mm. real. That's all he wants. He just wants to fuck you say it. whatever you need to say. Let me just slide for in. For real. We're slide in. You know what I'm saying? Word, and then word, she word. brought up two of the most popular black women influencers. Well, they're, they're more than influencers. Let me not misquote. They're like media personalities. That um, one of them named Scotty Bean. Mm -hmm. She she um, I don't know if you ever seen the show State of the Culture. They talk about you know things going on, mm -hmm. you know, in the media, or whatever. Right. It's her, Joe Budden, Remy Ma, and I think sometime Pat Poos is on there. Okay, called her out. And Karen Civil, she's another blogger, but she got big. Like she's like a blogger's blogger. You know what I'm saying? She's right. huge. Both black women calling them out. And she like she was like, oh, all these black women. And it was like, who? Just like several of them. And she just named those two and then said, et cetera, after that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And they lit her up again. Right. It's like every time she puts her toe in the water, a piranha bites it off. But my, every time. But then how does she still have a platform? Because she's a thick she's a white girl with a body like a black girl. But uh, that's, that's why. A, but that's I'm, all I'm, it is. And I'm looking at her though, I'm like, she's not even it's not even that. Serious. If anything, you would just smash and dip. That's it. It is no, like you and gotta I'm, I'm the powerful it. of booty. Yes, and powerful of white booty. Yes, For because rarity. because you know how niggas are. They hate themselves. Mm -hmm. So there's like, all right, I don't want black women, but I'm gonna get a woman that looks like a black woman Word. without all the black women stuff. So, Travis uh, Scott. <clears throat> say it again. What? Travis Scott. Oh, oh Travis Scott is a, oh tra Travis Scott is next. On the Kardashian curse, you it just think, hasn't hit him you yet. You think Travis Scott <laughs> would actually date whatever her name is, Kylie? If she wasn't famous? If she wasn't, if she never had any surgery? I'm going to put this very simply. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> she that's... looks completely and utterly different from how she looks. And I get, what? I will put my next paycheck that Travis Scott wouldn't even touch her with an eight foot pole if she didn't have that um, mm -hmm. surgery. But then, Bet but money. It... And now he had a baby. Yeah, the, the, and they say it's Tiger's baby too. What? what <laughs> what's crazy to me, dog? It's like, all right, when you look at these women, mm -hmm. like I don't see anything special about them in terms of what they do. You okay. Know Whenever I hear them talk, they piss me off like within ten seconds. Cause Wait, it's like, yeah. When you say these women, oh, like Kardashians. Oh, oh no, no, no. Yeah, I agree with you. you. Know what I'm saying I agree with you. The so, niggas is poison. Yeah, but and then <laughs> and even so, it's like, all right. So it has to be how they look. But then, they ain't all that in that department either, bro. It's no, like, it's, a, it's a brainwashing I'm like, thing. I'm like, bro, Travis, they're fine the women that show up to your concert every week. Like, the, that, yeah, like, sorry, I'm <clears throat> losing my words. That's a very good way to put it, that show up to your concert. Not even famous women. Not even, dog. Just like, regular women that look way better. 
bro. But it's all it's all about a status. Thing. Every it's time I walk out, I see a woman better than 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 Kylie Jenner. What? And Kim Card and, 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 and Kim Card. All right, I, I mean, Kim she did a lot of money for that body. No, South Florida full of Kim Card Kardashians, dog. She, she, like, just because you pay working money at, for it, don't mean it's quality. Word, they be working at Chipotle. They be working call centers. Yeah, they be waitresses and word. everything. Look, what? And there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a Kim Kardashian working on your Domino's order right now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> there's a Kim Kardashian living next door to you, but you don't bother to check. I know yeah, there's some girls. <laughs> That's a couple squats away from being baddies. Yeah. That's all it really comes down to. Yeah. Instead Does of putting he... a fake ass, build your ass. Exactly, bro. No, but you see this it. is a mic I told you this is a microwave then, generation. They want then anything see, like that. But then you see it, dog. You see women like with that that was slim, slim trim. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they did push ups for a year consistently <laughs> yeah. consistently and all of a sudden they got they, they got, got ass. They yeah. got ass. They did push ups to, and squats. Or they figure out what to eat and how to work out. Exactly. Just get thick naturally. Word. You have to activate the booty, lady. Word. If you don't already have one, if you have one, you're blessed. Word. But if you're looking to get one, work out and activate it. Word. Or have a it's baby. It's there. Shit. You just activate have to bring that <laughs> booty. Uh, word. I love that. Activate that booty. Activate By the booty. By the way, if you want to work out, if you want to get pregnant. How, how wow, we didn't even introduce us. <laughs> with 16 uh, minutes in, we ain't even introduced oh, ourselves. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, there's only three of us present, it, and for real, this is Flock of Zulu, aka Sir Black Stallion the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka. No more AKA South of Violence. But, but, and it's your boy, Jormatic, AKA Wave Chappelle, AKA Wavy McGrady, AKA Black Galifianakis, mm -hmm. AKA Dwayne Wave, AKA Loud Pack Chopra, right. AKA <laughs> NDN No Durag Necessary, <laughs> hashtag Natural Wave. This nigga with all these AKAs. AKA. <laughs> it's your boy, Who Kid, AKA Man Who, AKA your favorite sound recorder. Bra, 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 tell them. And as you see, we are currently missing two members. Um, of course, Mr. Buamaya is still on his Sasuke flow. Word. And Mr. Um, I seem black. Uh, do you know what happened to him? I don't know. Mystery. Yes. <laughs> for the, I, don't know. I don't know. For the first time <laughs> in a recording where he was missing, we don't know what happened to him. Yeah. We do know. know he's okay though. Maybe. We send our best regards. To him, <laughs> Best we got for real. Did you? Did there was you, what? Did you, did, make sure you there was those cryptic call. text messages. We got this teaser coming. No, 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 I didn't miss one. All right. Speaking of call, because you don't mind this. Your boy finally upgraded. Finally, <laughs> bro. I haven't had a new phone in four years. But yeah, so I feel like I deserved it. You went from an Android to an Android, and we're proud. Oh yeah. Fuck iPhone. <laughs> iPhone said fuck you. Pieces. <laughs> Word. Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which. I, so this is why I love Twitter, dog. You always find out shit you did not know. Apparently, Steve Jobs was a piece of shit father and husband. Um, a, lot, a lot of those like rich motherfuckers are pieces of shit. Yeah, <laughs> moguls and stuff like that. Like they didn't really have, they didn't really set time for family. It's for real, not the best family values. Yeah, I there mean, there's a price to that, man. Like, um, there's a story. I think his daughter was telling about how, um, he would do things where he would pay for something, did not pay for it. And the grimiest part, the grimiest one, um, his wife, his wife found a house that was good for, you know, her and her daughter mm -hmm. and showed it to him. And this nigga bought it for him and his wife, him and his um, other wife. Wow. Steve Jobs is on some bullshit, bro. Wow. He's a piece of shit father, dog. That's some wild shit. Yeah. I mean, and, didn't he name his first computer like Kimberly or some shit? After I think his daughter? it's... What that was like Jay? the only thing he did good as a father. I think he disowned her or some shit like that. So yeah, so like I'm 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 trying to um I'm trying to remember the movies they did a few years ago. Damn. I heard those movies are awful. <laughs> I didn't even well, bother watching. The one with I think it's Stephen Fassbender or whatever, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. He he had an interesting one that, the way they approached it. They will only do the scenes where he actually just was about to or had just gotten off a stage from one of his keynotes. Mm -hmm. So it was like all this shit was going on in his life behind stage right before or right after he had to come back from his keynotes. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. like his experiences with his daughter, uh, like like I think I saw a scene where he actually um, like he pushed her away. You know, he was like, no, you're not my daughter or whatever. And then mm -hmm. there was other scenes where like he accepted her and then there was scenes where he was going through issues with his wife, his agent, the company was trying to get rid of him. 
they basically just did it all as this weird back of stage kind of way. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, so they didn't take it out into like the community or the Apple centers or anything. It was like literally trying to showcase how much he had to deal with and then go on stage and do these keynotes in 1998 or whatever. Got yeah. you. You know what I mean? I thought that was kind of weird and unique. Yeah. I, well, definitely weird. Um, It said Mr. Jobs arrived days after the birth and helped name her, but refused to acknowledge that he was the father. What was to her support, name? Um, Lisa. Lisa. Um, yeah. To support her family, Miss Brennan cleaned houses and used government assistance. Only after the government sued Mr. Jobs did he agree to pay child support. So they had to come and sue this nigga for him to pay child support. He said, when her mother found a beautiful house and asked Mr. Jobs to buy it for her and Lisa, he agreed it was nice, but bought it for himself and moved in with his wife, Loren Powell Jobs. That's some grimy shit. Well, and he said he would do on. shit to confuse and frighten her. He said sometimes he decided not to pay for things at the very last minute. Walking out of restaurants without paying the bill. How That's nice a power shit. That's the <laughs> house that he decided to live in it though. Wait, what what do you mean? What kind of house was this? Oh, yeah, like, I guess. Like, oh, I want this mansion versus this mansion. <laughs> well, I mean, if your husband is Steve Jobs, you're gonna go for the top shelf cuz you know he can pay for it. Word. Okay, and, real quick. How do y'all feel about that? About what? Like, it don't take 50 grand a month to live, right? Mm -hmm. And I ain't saying you don't deserve the time you put in, mm -hmm. but like, where's that marker? Is it like the judge looks at your salary and says 10% or right. is it- I actually don't know this how This nigga make works. a lot of money, like, cause you got niggas paying a hundred dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? And right. that's what they supposed to survive on. Well, mm -hmm. all right, from what I heard growing up, it is based off your salary. Yeah. But also, sometimes it doesn't matter about your salary. It matters about, like, how bad you are and your background and if you're this, that, you know, if you got record and stuff. Because I've seen niggas, they'll get a $100, like, a $500 check and child support is 450 You know what I'm saying? So it has nothing to do with your salary. Sometimes it, sometimes it comes from the judge. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying this. I've never been through it. I don't have kids. I've never been able to baby mama. But it's just from other people's experience. They said, you know... Oh, you got a bad background, or you never supported them, and now you know what I'm saying. It's kind of mm. like sometimes it's like a punishment. Yeah. And the other times it's on some okay, you know, you were there, but you're not an active father. It's it's weird. It's weird, but I don't know exactly. Man. I'm not really. That's um, some rare shit though, because some people could be paying so little. Like there's people who have money who pay little, like a couple grand, and they have like yeah. well over six figures. And you sometimes know, but, you think it depends on the mom too. If she can support, well, I guess it depends on money. I don't think it has that much to do with them, right? Other okay. than what they request or something like that. Mm -hmm. Got you. I'm pretty I think sure the judge like kind of has a direct conversation. Like, you make three billion a year, you mm -hmm. gonna pay one million a month, mm -hmm. or whatever. They <laughs> That's crazy. But it's bro. like, That's crazy. You know what I wish? I would pay all the money in the world for my kid mm -hmm. if I knew I could track it. And make sure. Yeah, like if make I had sure. a horrible relationship, I never abused this woman, nothing. She cheated on me, I divorced her, uh -huh. or whatever. And then they wanted me to ch pay alimony or whatever that shit is, uh -huh. and you have to take care of them because you gave them a lifestyle, which is fucking ridiculous. It is. But at the same time, if um, you... Damn, I kind of forgot my point. But, you know, like, if, if you can... If, if, uh, you, if you, you had a bad relationship, that's where I was going. Mm -hmm. If you had a bad relationship with the woman... And you just want to make sure your kid is taken care of, mm -hmm. and you're a millionaire, and they want her want to pay ten grand. Mm -hmm. I just want, I'll, okay, first the house, mm -hmm. cool, because yeah. your kid got to have a roof, of course. Mm -hmm. But can I direct my money to my kid? Word, word. I don't want yeah, to I've then start that. seeing her walk around with all kind of purses and nice cars and shit. For real, it's like eating crab legs every night. How fair is that to me? It's not. Word. That's a that's a that's a, a hustle. That's exactly what that is, and that's word. how, that's and, how and, a lot of women having, do that too. Word, I having rich niggas babies is a hustle that some of these women have. Though. Like, bro, like young kings out there, careful who you lay with. Yes, please. Careful who you lay with, bro. because some of these women turn once I, the baby first comes of all, to get pregnant. First of all, as a king, most women ain't worth your seed. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Say a lot of for the people in the back. As a king, most women ain't worth your seed. You know what I'm saying? You got to be very selective. And you have to know your worth. Too. You got to know your worth, bro. Like, like I understand you You want to just fuck everything out here. Like, I don't suggest it. Do what you do, but, you know, like, flock No, that. don't do what you do, because you, you fucking with other people's emotions and shit. Well, no, no, I, I agree with that. Mm. I agree with that, but some niggas' lifestyle, like, 
that's all they know, bro. Like, yeah. like if I'm not getting a pussy, why am I around? <laughs> I that's honestly, sad, that, like, nothing more, nothing less. That's, that's it's sad, very bro. disheartening, very dis- disappointing. Bro, like, where, trust you, me, where yeah. your passion's at, dog? What you, what you reading? What you, what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, besides Twitter. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and but, so, not even consider right? reading that Twitter. You're just watching shit go. Right. And that goes, same for, you, for, for queens, too. Most of these niggas ain't worth you. You know what I mean? For real. Be selective. Of them. <laughs> Speaking of what, what's worth, I'm going to go get this pizza real quick. Nigga. Oh, yeah. There's never been more of an opportunity for say what you need to say. Oh, the irony. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give some shout outs. You know, shout out to all our followers, all our listeners, all our subscribers. We appreciate y'all from the bottom of our, our heart. You know, shout out um, David Boumaier. Shout out, I've seen Black feel better. Shout out the station. Shout out the bougie group. Shout out eclectic conversations. My nigga Hydro, my nigga Beige. Shout out my my nigga Zane Legacy. He's the next one coming out of Jamaica. Remember that name? L O D D. Shout out Rotted. Shout out Rotted. Shout out the captain. Shout out the captain. I have a holler uh, at him in the middle. I got over. Shout out Cuzzos. Oh, yeah, big shout out. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we're back now. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Twitter, this is a terrible transition. Do you have a, a, a flame? A flame. A yeah. flame. Yeah, yeah. I am in possession of your flame. Yeah, That's yeah. why you're flame. That is my flame. It is. <laughs> um, I, did, did you hear about the whole college scandal scam stuff? Oh yeah, W is trying to bribe their way, their kids way. And <laughs> what's funny is I heard of the the girl who who is all centered around doesn't even want to go to college. That's the crazy part. Your mom over here putting her neck on the line, bribing niggas, probably sucking dick. She probably won't admit it. And you don't even want to go to college. She made this blog talking about, Imagine oh, you I want to go that. explore. Like, I know school's important, but da-da-da. I know school's important, but da-da-da. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't think of a fuck about college. She's a famous actress's daughter. In yeah. 2019, nonetheless. I don't give a shit about school. And bro. she see how, how useless school is, bro. Exactly. Especially you already got money in your pocket. Now... Right. Um, it's uh, Lori Laughlin and wow, I forgot the other one's name. But one of them is from Full House. One of them was Uncle Jesse's wife from Full House, ah. the twins' mom. So they calling this um, hashtag Aunt Becky scandal hmm. or whatever. But what kills man, me is man, who you got the shenanigans in this? Uh, nigga, lie headed already. Shenanigans? Do you give <laughs> <Man>, shenanigans? <laughs> give me shenanigans? <laughs> Pray ain't hear that. <laughs> And what 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 kills me is that you trying to cheat a system that already benefits you. You're trying to cheat yep. a system that is already in your favor. Like, how dumb is your daughter? Word, the, the SAT, ACT, like, cu- like culturally biased, bro. Yeah, it's culturally biased. But you want to like, is it like it's, it's one of two things? Your daughter's just dumb, or you sheltered her, and you scared that she's not gonna function properly in real life. Yeah, and then that's why you did that. Either or, both of them are your fault. Yeah, as a parent, both of them. I, are your I fault. mean. There's there's two issues here. Mm. One, uh, I don't think you should be forcing your kids to go to college. Yeah, true, true. Because you know, at eighteen, you know, even though most Americans don't act grown, you're grown. Yeah, but you should make that decision. I Technically, know, you are. And the way college is a college is an investment, yo. So if you don't go into it with a actual direction of what you want to do, you you wasting money. So don't get me twisted. Don't let me think like. You know, just like oh, don't don't send don't send these kids to college or don't da da da. No, Education no, 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 is no, important, of course but, not. Of course but not. you gotta have a direction, dog. Like if you're not ready for college or if you don't know what you're gonna do, um, enter the workforce straight out of high school. Yeah, get a trade or something. Get you know a trade. Saying? You know what I'm saying? And not only are they wasting. Oh, trade. Just my bad. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. But trade, trade people like. Make a lot of money, bro. And it goes in their pocket too. And it goes in their pocket. I like could, carpenters. I can tell you from. Sorry to cut you, but I can tell you from first hand, mm-hmm. growing up, I did a trade, mm-hmm. and the money I have seen come into hand, I compare that shit to almost a level that like doctors can make in a year, yeah. if yeah. they do it right. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? absolutely. Because- and, and, and it's needed. Cause less and less people are are learning a trade. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And Who it's out coming... here know how to plumb, how to how, how to work wood, how to work metal. Yeah. How, how many do how many work? of you can drive a nail into a piece of wood with a hammer, bro? Like, could you change your Accurately. socket? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
without hurting yourself. Exactly. exactly. And then we're getting to a generation where all these mechanics. Jo- that's another. Mm-hmm. That's another very popular one. Mm. We're getting to a, a a time in this. Well, not this generation, but soon. Where these regular jobs that they rather go for mm. are going to be done by robots and AI. Mm-hmm. A robot or AI can't come in and well, I'm sure soon they're going to make them build houses mm. because you know that's just my True. that's just my my guess. But they already got like three D printed houses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it's it's just certain things. Then, it's like it's like this: certain technology mm-hmm. could benefit humanity. But people are so greedy, dog. Like, yeah. <laughs> they like I I I saw this I, I saw this some time ago too. Mm. They're literally three D printing like little houses. Wow. They three D print gr- gum guns. And this was this was this was years ago. Why are niggas still homeless? Mm. If you could three D print a house, why are people still homeless? Like you it, said, greed. It's like, oh, we can't profit off of this, so you know, let's, it, it can't be done. Like, bro, like. And they love hitting you with the, oh, the money's mm-hmm. not there, and da da da. And then what you see what they spend money on. I'm like, I'm not a mathematician, but Dog, damn. That money don't finish for the military, ever. Never. Uh, the other day, I saw an article where it was like in England or something. They passed a law. They had to go to the law. And they passed a law that basically um, grocery stores. When they had to get rid of food, mm-hmm. were forced now to give it to the homeless. Wow! Wow! They, they had should to pass, pass that law. law everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. they should pass that law everywhere, dog. Because mercy. if you're throwing food in the garbage, you're giving it to bugs and you know other insects and all that shit. Stuff Why you not don't give want. it to people who, to live? You know. But right. Yeah. I, I attribute it to greed and population control. Mm. Oh yeah, that, that yeah, that's definitely a real thing. I always forget about population control. That, that's why, you know, ah, let, let me not get into it. I'm going to sound like Alex Jones. <laughs> you know Alex Jones, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Conspiracy. The conspiracy King. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, he's entertaining because, like, he's just an angry, uh, fat white man. <laughs> and usually when the camera's in front of them crackers, they're hilarious for some reason. <laughs> fat, angry, white Homer. <laughs> dude from All in the Family. Ted Bundy. <laughs> fat, angry white men are hilarious to society for some reason. Word. But, but, no, Until but, they put hoods on. Oh yeah, the fuck Archie off. Bunker. <laughs> Word. Yeah, that suit's all in the family. I forget Word. the name. Archie. Yeah, he, de- he definitely put a hood on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> remember that? Ep- remember the episode where Sammy Davis Jr. kissed him on the cheek? I I remember, but I don't. <laughs> Bro, there's an episode where I first of all I used to love that show. I never liked it. It just wasn't my humor. As a, but, as a kid, as I was a kid, down it was like it. one of those shows that, like, you know, just came on. You know what I mean? No, yeah, but I just never like. It was like I, I put it in the same categories like Mash. Yeah, Mash is classic, but I just never watched. Mash is it. pretty funny. I never watched it. It's pretty. It's pretty damn funny. But uh, never got to watch Mash. Remember them days when you only had like six channels? Oh, and you had to like figure out what you wanted to watch. That's what molded me, boy. Right. <laughs> Back in the day, that my shit was uh, Lucy. <laughs> I love I love Lucy though. Right. Sam- Seven and Son. Sanford yep. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Cheers was yeah. Cheers was good. Seinfeld. Seinfeld and then you you know the norms. Martin, Prince. Yeah. By the way, Martin. Uh, photographer, uh, film filmmaker, videographer. Uh, I think his name is Martin Cooper. Mm-hmm. He's making a. I know this company is Cooper Films, but he's making a. What if. Fresh Prince took place in 2019. Oh yeah, yeah, we saw that. Yeah, yeah I saw the trailer yeah. for that. It looks, yo, it, it looks pretty yo, dope. Dude is sick on the camera. You Word. feel me? It nah, looks, nah, he it, is. It looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not like if you know me, I'm not a big fan of remakes and reimaginings and all that. But I'm gonna give it a chance. Word, this looks I'm gonna pretty, give it a chance. This looks pretty. You cool. should. It's a black videographer, so Word. give it a chance. Word, give it, Word. Definitely give it a chance. I wonder how many times because it looks like pretty serious and they're delivering like. Sitcom lines, like yeah, pretty serious callbacks. And callbacks, and you're like, I wonder how, how many takes it took for them not to laugh while while, <laughs> while doing or, the serious or, or the niggas like they they had to cut out time because every other minute niggas was like, hey, remember, <laughs> hey, remember, <laughs> remember <laughs> this part, remember Uncle Phil had. I'll be on the BTS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, before we go any further, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Right. Wait for it, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Just... <laughs> yes, I just R.I.P. Uncle cool. Phil. <laughs> but yeah, it looks good though. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. And speaking of a black director, um, big shout out to Jordan Peele. Mm-hmm. This he is he is he's rearranging Hollywood as we see it, as far as like black creatives go. 
Right. Um, you know, Get Out got ninety nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It got a hundred until one nigga hated. And funny enough, it was a black dude. And I don't know if you read his um his review about Get Out. It was like, oh, it's just another. Whoa. It's just another um old white man is evil um evil whitey type movie. I'm like, yeah, I don't think you watched this movie. <laughs> you couldn't have made that review it. after watching it. That, anyway, I don't want to get to that, but evil whitey that that sounds like a uh, history book. To me. Yeah, or get whitey. I think the that's they the don't term teach. you use. Yeah, exactly. And then us, his recent movie with Lupita Nyong'o, who stars Lupita Nyong'o, it's got 100 percent so far because he premiered it at Sundance. And everybody left that movie theater like, yo, this is crazy. Mm. He's the next Hitchcock. He's the next Spielberg. No, he's the first Jordan Peele. Exactly. He's etching his face into the, you know, I'm not going to say the Mount Rushmore because he only did two movies. <laughs> I'm going to relax on that. Right. But he's etching his name into, well, he's the, two for into two. the mold though. Shit, he's I'll two for two. Oh, hell yeah, he's two for two. And he's about to be three for three because he's doing the reboot of Twilight Zone. Yeah. And that's another thing I'm going to give a chance even though I don't like reboots. But he's controlled, like he's executive producer. Word. I think he's a regular producer. He's hosting it, I mm. think, because he's in a commercial acting like the host from the old one. Yeah. Picture this. <laughs> I love certain, Twilight Zone. Certain shows are before their time. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when they do shows that are like kind of before their time in terms of like, you know, film technology, I'm like, okay. Yeah. We could do this over. Yeah, exactly. You know like a good example is uh George Lucas. Mm. He didn't I don't care how much you like or don't like Star Wars, mm. those films are phenomenal as far as effects go. Mm. They're up there with any movie ever because one of the time, mm. they did not have CGI and the advancements of technology we have now. Mm. And two, it was like the realism of it because when you see the behind the scenes, mm. it was basically like toys and figures that they're holding up and shooting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it, it's incredible. And, um, that's why this Twilight Zone is gonna be incredible now because we have those advancements. Mm. A lot of those are like, oh, I wish the X Files came out now. Word. Like because CGI, sometimes it'll be all of a movie. Mm. But the thing with the Twilight Zone, those are good stories too. But if you mm. had the good effects, you know, this is a perfect combo. So Word. shout out Jordan Peele. I, I'm definitely gonna go see Us. I have oh. a, I have a, a, a theory about what it's about, but I'm gonna wait till I watch it. Word on the street is that Boondocks coming back. What? Yeah. Since when? Yeah, dog. Well, I saw I saw a post. I'll, okay, you got can't, you can't trust post. Don't I, saw post I saw a post that it's coming out um, April. Ah. Let me hold on. Let me verify. Got you. Real quick. Now, why? While uh, Mr. Flaga Zulu is uh, verifying. I, yeah, I just want to speak on on more like black creators like. I saw a tweet the other day that said, um, black owned doesn't mean cheap and discounted. And mm. it, that hit me, I was like, oh shit, because that's how a lot of people view stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, black person owns it, so the quality is going to be lower and this and that and third out. Like, for instance, one big uh, arena that's definitely not true is food. Because I can go to, like, I don't know, Red Lobster or wherever and have some seafood. And then I can go to somebody like Crab Man 305. Who's selling out his house at one point? Now he's, you know, he's at a restaurant for a while now, and it's mm. ten times better. So, like, the, I, I believe the thought we should have is that when it comes to black-owned stuff, we're more detailed because we're already um under a microscope. Mm. People are already looking at it. So, do you don't think we're gonna be detailed because of that? You know, what I'm saying I'm not saying that's the only reason we're detailed and we're good at what we do, but you know, what I'm saying always like you know your homeboy got a clothing line, people got a podcast, your homeboy a rapper, your homegirl a singer. Uh, did I say clothing line? Yeah, I said clothing line already. Okay. E even if you know they're a mechanic or something, support your brother and your sister. Exactly. Yes, I agree. All of that, all of that, all of that. So just to verify, okay. the comic is back. The okay, is I back. saw that. Yeah, the illustration I saw that is one. back. As far as the show, I'm still, I'm still looking because I did see some talking about April. Mm -hmm. So let me see. I'm not really seeing anything promising, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, trust we'll, me, we'll, we'll, call, we'll call that a dud for now. But the illustration is back up. Yeah, I, I saw that one. I Word. saw that. That one was, was hilarious. Word. Trust me, if it does come back, it's gonna be right there on watch party with Game of Thrones. Oh, trust me. Yes. If they ever, because I was just watching. 
I watched the uh, the Booty Warrior episode. That shit was crazy. <laughs> Tom is a fucking fool. <laughs> you can't have my booty. <laughs> but um, on that note, <laughs> wow. No, nah, I don't want to end the episode. Yeah, like that. don't end it, please. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Let's say one more thing quickly, so we, <laughs> so we don't have to end on my booty. Wow, and he said it again. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I was just say the same thing. You know. You know, uh, support your black creatives. Support, you know, what I'm your saying? black creatives and, and and businesses. Yeah, don't see it as you know competition like that. You know, you know, have a mutual respect for everybody. Understand everybody out here grinding, mm. but don't be disrespectful. I'm mm-hmm. not saying that. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like everybody you know, just show support to each other. Yeah, because trust me. You, you know, know how the hey. statistics go. If black people pull their buying power from the crackers, hey, hey, it's a whole nother. Let's get, another thing. Let's get this money off these white folks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Exactly. That W money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What? I ain't saying nothing. This is <laughs> Flock of Zulu, aka Sir Black Silent the Third, aka Pablo Esca Beach, aka No More, aka Stop Violet. And it's your boy Dramatic, aka La Fat Chopra, aka Dwayne Wave, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka. <sighs> And this your boy, Who Kid, aka Man Who, aka Let's Record. Hey. <laughs>